We're about to visit the castle, the Castello, <laughs> Castello, and the Church of Santa Maria. Found the castle Castello in Muralas de Tavira. Oh. That's very nice, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, it's like a tiny little little garden thing that's so nice what a nice cool little place and there's a church next to us oh, oh, oh. There we go. up there look at that can you see that little clock on the church that's brilliant <laughs> I've got a camera out I just saw a stork fly over there. And we had some chickens earlier. Come in. Well, this is really fascinating. We've got little garden down there for growing food. There's actually chickens. Let's see if we can get it. They've got chickens. <laughs> That's brilliant isn't it? Right in the centre of town. Lots of chickens, wow. They look quite big as well. I wonder what the Portuguese for, for having a tourist day is. <laughs> Turistas. Turistas, maybe. I'll Turista, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, we're having a touristy day. Wandering around um, Tavira. We're in the wee castel here. It's a really fascinating little town. I don't know if we can get any good view out here. Whoa. I can't tell if it's part of the old castle or if it's someone's house. <laughs> but look at look at the depth. It's, it's going way down. Ah, it must be part of the castle. It's got to be same all sorts right. of stuff. And if... Oh, those are some notes. Look at that. That is. Pretty cool. Oh, residence, the medieval residence of the Corte Real family. Yeah, wow. Yeah, the Mano Corte Real family. Phoenician. Wow, 8th century BC. Wow. BC. So it is going back quite a bit. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, look, at, look, at, look at all these fish. I can see that. It's all the latest technology, I but you need to talk to God. Oh, 
Well, we're in Olho. Olho. I don't know how you pronounce it. Olho. Olho. It's in Portugal, anyway. Uh, we've had a nice cup of coffee and we're sitting in the port. Just watching the boats. I might have to try a view now. Look, I can see that view over there. We've just had a coffee. It's been really nice, but the sun's coming out. Kind of mixed cloudy day today, but it's still about 17 degrees. <laughs> well, I'm in shorts. <laughs> Put it on because there's, there's a cool breeze. But the minute that sun comes out, it's the most. Camping Moulin, I think. <laughs> so, this is where we've pitched. Well, it's probably one of the noisiest ones, purely by the number of pine needles that have fallen off that tree. Onto the van. And the doves chewing. And, and the, the owls. owls eating. <laughs> it's very nice. It's a nice little weird layout. They don't seem to label the, uh, the pictures. <coughs> and most of the pictures are quite small. And we just barely squeezed in this one. We had to, uh, we had to take the bikes off the. Um, we had to take the bikes off the, the, the backpack and pull it up. That is very nice. Nice, uh, nice campsite. Lots of shade for the summer. That very weird layout, kind of all higgledy piggledy in amongst the trees. Yeah, it's really sweet. We have um, lots of lots of toilet blocks spread around, so you are only ever. Oh, yeah, that's 30 feet away from the toilet block. Yep, bins are over there. That building with the green roof is the shower block and the toilets. Well, there, is a, there is a railway line about 30 feet from us, but <laughs> the trains are very infrequent, so it's not going to stop us at midnight. Let's go and have a look at the service point and the pool. Okay, we found the service point. So this is where you empty your grey waste. It's one that you just reverse onto and undo the tap. It goes down that drain at the end. The Over here is the yeah, chemical disposal. I'm just wondering where the tap is for filling up. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to work. No hose on it. And nowhere to put a connector. Hmm. That might be a problem. You can't tell if that's drinking water or not. Might have to use the tap near where we're parked and fill it out with bags. Yep. Okay, let's go around and see where the pool and that is. We found the pool. Two pools. I'm going to go and see how cold it is. Okay. I, I could have brought my um, infrared temperature measure. Or you could just go in for a swim and start, then you know for sure. <laughs> this campsite's a lot bigger than we first thought. It's got courts over there and there's a whole area over the back end with bigger uh, pitches. There we go. Nice and fresh. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I think this would be very nice in the summer. Yeah. It's another one to mark up for the summer season. Yeah. Nice size pool. It's a bit cold. <laughs> At this time of year. There's no chairs or anything either. Some beds. No, I think. Let's bring your own. Yeah, probably. Right. Okay. Let's go and explore the park. Oh, yeah. Tide mill. Cool. The Ria Formosa, which is like 500 meters from our campsite. And that's where we had lunch yesterday, somewhere over there. when the tides either high, I guess, coming in or out. <laughs> oh, got a lot of wind. Might not hear us. Yeah, that's good. I haven't got a little wind sock on my uh, wind moustache. Better get on to hard stuff. Okay. There you go. Hey. <coughs> My brave explorer. Into the rickety uh, rails. Yeah. Yeah. Look at it. It's incredible. You can see. Must have been, was that where the wheel was? The, um, the mill? I think uh, we're a bit out of season so we can't actually get into the... Oh, you probably can't see that on my camera. All a bit mank. Bring back the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're using our phones because the GoPro's died. Just a little bit over the year old. Make my eyes water, that wind. <laughs> yeah, you can see the, uh, looks like um, they must have had gates for the for the water there. and You can see the, the water, look at the speed of the water coming in and out. It's amazing. Yeah, I think the tide is coming in. Yeah, we've just found one of those caterpillar things that have hundreds of caterpillars that drop down and that one looks like there's still one on it. It's moving. Look, oh yeah, look, you can see it. That one's early. Oh, that's a bit scary. Oh. Very dangerous for dogs. I'm sure it's not so good for humans as well. Yeah, but if 
the dog licks them and gets stuck on their tongues, they can die. Oh. Oh. And if you on them, then they get the little claws. And then the claw. Very dangerous. Wow. So if you see these, keep your dog on a lead. Oh, oh, I seem to have lost my focus there. Okay. Next on the list in the Park Natural de Ria Formosa's little Roman settlement. So let's go and have a look at that. <laughs> 